Whether you're playing EverQuest on Project 1999 Blue Server, Red Server, Green Server, that new Polka Dot Server, EQ Mac, the Live Servers, Tech Project, maybe you're just looking at this EQ Screensaver. However you play EverQuest, you're gonna be wanting to be wearing a set of totemic armor. Now, I know a lot of you are gonna say, but Michael, I can't. It's totemic. Only shaman can wear totemic armor. Well, there's your first mistake. Remake your character and do it right this time. With totemic armor, there's nothing you can't do. You can stop a King Kong chaos charge. You can defeat Godzilla Saurus and look good while you do it. You can fire blast the Grim Reaper with twin scepters. I can't make this stuff up. That all happened. Have you ever wanted to kick a bastard right in his ass? Hey, who kicked me? Have totemic armor! Another great thing about totemic armor is that it's five colors for the price of one. Most people think of it as this sick looking color, but it's also silver like fine steel. Or yellow like jaundiced. A much inferior armor set, don't use it. It can be gold like McDonald's, or a grayish brown color. What a bargain! Five colors for the price of one. That's triple the savings for a fraction of the price. Make sure to protect yourself with magic armor at all times. Let's take a look at the stats on this totemic armor. Wow, that's a lot of stats. As you can see, there's a lot of armor class here. A little more than banded. But do you get all of these evenly distributed stats from Banded? I don't think so. Let's see how the Totemic holds up against a level 25 guard. Okay, here I am, a level 49 shaman with 643 AC. And as you can see, he doesn't even stand a chance. I mean, he can't even touch me. Look at him. Now imagine how well he's gonna do when I actually put on the armor. Alright, I got 775 AC now. Okay, and he hits me for 36, which, you know, okay, he double attacks me for 60 actually, and he's hitting me more frequently than before. Okay, uh, okay, let me, I'm just gonna try taking off the armor. I'm gonna take the armor back, oh my god. Let me take the armor off first, at least. He's killing me. What the fuck? Totemic armor isn't about the stats or the AC, that's all raid monger pixel math. Totemic armor is a way of life. I'm gonna tell you guys what I told Vanessa here on the forums, okay? She was all like, if a shaman doesn't have torpor at level 30, are they even worth playing at all even? And in response, I made like a really sane and logical post about wearing totemic armor, you know, to help her out. And then this guy's all like, should I get the whole set of Totemic? What pieces are essential? It's all essential. Having a set of Totemic armor is all about having a set of Totemic armor, all right? You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? A piece on its own is completely worthless Boomba trash, and I wouldn't hesitate to pawn it off to Peen Fuzzle Cutter for one of his homemade wigs. It's like, Diablo 2, you know? The fancy armor sets, the green, there's like a set bonus. It's like Warcraft World over there. Totemic is the same way. When you have the whole set, you get a lot of bonuses like confidence, mental strength, unrivaled limitless power, fashion. As proof of these wondrous features, let's look at someone who doesn't have a set of totemic armor. Let's look at this YouTube comment. The word is totemic. The accent's on the second syllab. 
syllabi syl syllabi what? Okay, try and follow my logic here, you illiterate ghoul. Say totem. Okay, now put an ick after it. Totemic. Now see the difference between me and this guy? My big brain is already full of intelligence, but my totemic armor gives me five more. Uh, hmm. I guess I don't know what else to say about totemic armor. I mean, maybe I'm having an off day day off or something. This kind of reminds me of this book series I'm reading. Pinecone Trilogy. Uh, but I'm not going to go into that, you know, there's spoilers and everything. I think I'm going to end this video with a math equation for everyone to think about and enjoy. Two and a half halves makes five half halves whole. And I think those are words we can all live by.